India has got two vaccines, Covaxin and Covishield. One more vaccine is going to come. Moderna, Pfizer, j and Wow, it's Sputnik V. What is so special about this Sputnik V? Why India has considered Sputnik V as a third vaccine? So today in this particular video, we are going to see what are the uniqueness which is available with Sputnik V uh, because of which India has considered Sputnik V as a third vaccine. So welcome to Smartbox. This is your KG. So when this particular vaccine was launched in the year August 2020, lot of skepticism were going all around the world. So this vaccine was launched by Gemilia Research Institute, which has also been registered under Ministry of Health Russia. Within a shorter span of time, Russia has developed this vaccine. How it is possible? Clinical phase trial one and two, it has been conducted. Where are those results? Clinical phase three trial is here to be conducted. How come they have launched this vaccine? What is the efficacy? What is the safety profile? These were the doubts which was going all around the globe when this particular vaccine was launched. Lancet is one particular journal. Whatever data which is being published in Lancet journal is considered to be so authentic. So with respect to Sputnik V, phase one, phase two, phase three clinical trials were published in Lancet and it was available to us in February 2021. So all these results endorse that this particular vaccine is effective and the safety profile is also good. So now we will come to the mechanism. So it is as similar to Covishield. So they have used two components. One is the adenovirus which they are going to use as a vector. So vector is nothing but in simple term we will consider that as a delivery person. So this adenovirus is going to deliver something. Okay. The second component is the genetic material of the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus. So the genetic material what they have used here is the gene which is responsible for the production of spike protein of COVID virus. So in uh, past videos you have seen with respect to virus, two things are very important. One is the genetic material, which is the RNA. And second thing is the spike protein. Using this spike protein only, it will bind with the receptor of our cell. Once it, is, it binds, it releases the RNA, its genetic material into our cell and it will start capturing or start attacking, attacking the other cells also. So with respect to Sputnik V also, they have used two things. First thing, the adenovirus, the, the delivery person, and it is going to deliver the second component that is the genetic material of SARS-CoV-2 virus. So with respect to Covishield also, it is the same. With respect to Sputnik V also, you are saying the same. So what is the difference? The difference comes in the vector only. So there are two doses, right? First dose and the booster dose. The vector which they have used for first dose is different and the vector which they have used for the second dose is different. With respect to Sputnik V, the first vector which is used for the first dose of vaccine is recombinant adenovirus 26S and the, for the second dose of vaccine, the vector they have used is adenovirus, recombinant adenovirus 5S. Why they have used two different vectors? They would have used the same vector, right? Like Covishield. So what they say is, or what is the inference we can take? Adenovirus as well as the genetic material of the COVID virus, both the things are being deactivated and it has been introduced into our body. Our immune system will identify both adenovirus, that is the vector, and the genetic material of the SARS-CoV virus as a foreign particle, and it will start producing the antibodies against adenovirus and against the SARS-CoV-2 also. So when you are getting the first dose of Sputnik 2, your body will start producing antibodies against an adenovirus and also against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So for the second dose, again, if I am using the same adenovirus, so our body or our immune system already has the antibodies because of the first dose. So immediately, once it has been injected, it will start targeting the adenovirus and it will try to kill it. So the role of the adenovirus is to deliver the genetic material of the SARS-CoV-2. So before delivering the genetic material, if our own antibodies, which is being generated by the first dose of the vaccine, kills or uh, hampers the role of this adenovirus, then it will not be able to deliver the SARS-CoV-2 genetic material. In that case, proper amount of antibody production will not happen. So in case of Sputnik 2, the scientists have modified 
this way only. First vaccine they have used a different vector RAT266 and for the second dose of vaccine they have used the recombinant adenovirus 5S. So in this way it is completely different from Covishield and this is so so unique among the vaccines which is available currently for the COVID treatment. So now we'll come to the efficacy. So the best thing about Sputnik, it is having efficacy of 91%. So which is so, so good. Around 59 countries, they have uh, they are currently using Sputnik V or Russia had exported to 59 countries so far. And across countries, it is doing so good in terms of efficacy and in terms of safety profile also. So with respect to dosage, first dose, and within a span of 21 days time, you have to take the booster dose. And here with respect to storage also, it is scoring because it comes in powder form. So the stability or uh, shelf life of this particular product will be good because it is coming in the powder form. So first thing though, so unique is the technology because of this Sputnik is having the efficacy of 91% against COVID virus. The safety profile is so, so appreciated and so, so good. And the third thing with respect to storage, it is coming in the powder form. So now we'll come to two major questions. Okay, the first thing is the mutated species. So there are double mutated virus, triple mutated virus. Will this be effective against uh, the mutated virus? So far, we are not having as many data with respect to the mutated species, but with respect to Sputnik V, they are claiming against the UK strain, it is highly effective. And the second thing which they say is South African strain. So against the South African strain, it is not that effective. But what they say, if you are getting yourself vaccinated, you will not end up in major trouble. So that was the second question. Actually, if I'm vaccinating myself with Sputnik V, will I get uh, infection again, COVID virus infection again. Yep, there are chances you may get infected again, but you will not end up in major trouble. You will not require uh, major treatment, hospitalization, ventilator support, oxygen support, etc. etc. If you get yourself vaccinated, if and even if you are getting affected by the virus with the help of the doctor or with you can get yourself treated at home itself. Okay, so. Whatever be the vaccine, Covishield, Covaxin, Sputnik, get yourself vaccinated so your body will be ready to fight against the COVID virus in case if it tries to attack you. So Sputnik e probably it is uh, going to be manufactured likely to be Dr. Reddy's and Panacea Biotech. So again, we don't have to think. Covaxin, Covishield, which is in India, but I'm not able to get vaccine on time. Second dose, I'm waiting for a longer duration, things like that. So most probably, uh, I mean, our country has already received the lots or the consignments from Russia, Sputnik V vaccine. And most likely, Dr. Reddy's laboratory and Panacea Biotech are going to manufacture Sputnik V in India itself. So again, there will not be a question mark with respect to the supply of Sputnik V vaccine. So I hope this video is useful. Uh, if you like this video, give a like and please share it to the person whom you feel it will be useful and subscribe to Smartbox channel. Thank you.